So how could an intercontinental jet have vanished so suddenly in good weather and with no distress call from the pilot? Well, our science editor, Tom Clark, is here to explain. Well, first, Tom, do we know any more about exactly what happened here? In a word, Cathy, no. Um, <clears throat> this plane was equipped with all of the latest modern equipment, wasn't the newest of aircraft, all the modern equipment that would have, should have told its position. It, was, it had a transponder on board sending a signal, not just about where it was, how fast it was going, what altitude it was at. The signal from that transponder doesn't seem to have made it back to air traffic controllers. Whether or not it was still on their radar screens being seen passively, we just don't know. But the evidence would suggest it just suddenly stopped giving out information. Now that's led aviation experts to speculate that something catastrophic, sudden, it broke up in mid-air and everything failed. But I've been talking to people today who said that's not necessarily the case. There could have been some major electrical failure or something on the plane that rendered it invisible, but that it was still, you know, in some way uh, um, flying. The fact there was no mayday call from the crew, again, people speculated that suggests something catastrophic had happened. Not necessarily. Pilots are trained to fly first, navigate, then communicate. Apparently that's the sort of the, the, the command order when you're in an emergency situation. So they could have been struggling to try and keep the plane um, flying while they weren't sending out a distress signal but it doesn't look good. So how long do you think it will be before we find out any more? Well sadly for those relatives waiting for any news we just don't know until they find physical evidence the wreckage of the plane or something very close to it they can't even confirm that the plane has crashed. Now when an Air France plane crashed into the Atlantic um, back in 2009, that was flight 447 crashed into the Atlantic. It took two years to finally find the wreckage and a, you know, a, a, and a very long time before anyone really knew what had happened. However, that did crash into very, very deep water, nearly three miles deep. The, uh, the Gulf of Thailand is much, much shallower sea. So if they do, they've got a pretty good idea of where it disappeared. If they find wreckage, it shouldn't be too long to wait. And Again, if they don't find records immediately, there still are some bits of data that could have been sent back to the airline that they haven't yet made public. That was the case with Air France. Again, we found it a bit more detail of what happened through sort of passive messages that are sent earlier than that. Tom, thank you very much.